Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Outlook. In this module, I want to talk to you about signatures, email signatures, and also themes that can be used in an email. Now, a couple of places that you can do this, one is in options and one is in the new mail message window. So I'm going to do that one first. So new mail message. So when I get this open, you can see there that I've already got a signature set up with a theme on it. So that's that yellow bit down the left hand side. That is a theme. Now, if I go into signatures, you can see that I've got a couple of signatures already made up. If I click on Saks, that gives me these links to social media sites as well as the signature. Still got the theme there, though. If I go into signatures and create a new one. So if I create a new one and just call this test for this one so this is a new theme a new signature test and then i need to just type in there whatever i want to be in this signature block so i'll just put kind regards steve now at the bottom here you've got the default options if i go test for all new message so that'll be this and test for all replies or forwards so both of those and if I want any stationary if I go to the stationary so at the moment it's set to um, afternoon if I change that and just look at some of these other ones see if I can get one that's a bit different that one so that's blends I click OK to that you've also got um, font options there if you want to change any of these but I've used this theme so that's sort of like over write some of this other stuff go back to that now i have to save this save that so test is saved now you've got across the top here the option to put a business card in there now the business card could be your own personal details and then you wouldn't need any signature block like this it would just be a business card that then people would be able to save to their, their own contacts when they receive the email or you could do this on behalf of somebody else and it would be their business card. But that's through this option and the information must be already in your contacts for you to use that. But this is now set up for me to use. If I click OK to that and then I'll have to come out of this box. Uh, don't want to save that and just do a new one. There you can see it's set up with a blue theme and just the, the short signature block. But I can still change this if I, if I wish. I can go back to the original. It's got those hyperlinks to the social media. Or I can go to Steve and it just puts this bit of information there. Now, some people use signatures like this to put paragraphs of information in um, for, for different reasons. That's not what signatures are for, but you can use it like that. If you want to put different chunks of text in an email, in an email, there is a different feature to use. And if you go up onto the ribbon across the top, you've got, if I get back into this bit at the bottom there, you've got this option here, quick parts. That's where you would select auto text, for example, to drop paragraphs of information automatically into here, not signatures. But I'm not saying you can't do it and you shouldn't do it, but it's just that's the correct way to use the auto text, quick parts option and auto text. So that's one way of creating a signature now if I go and show you the other way it's not saving that the other way would be to go into options so file options and then on the mail option you've got all these are the default settings that you can change but there you've got signatures which takes you to the same place so you can see the one I've just done and then while I'm in here actually I'll just change the default back to the one that I want And click OK to that. So that's the same. And then stationary and fonts, you're coming into the same thing, blend. So if I go theme, I don't want a theme, it goes back. And then you've got the option of changing the fonts if you want, making them bigger or whatever you want to do. Click OK to that. And then you can play around with this as well. So that's the signature. That's the stationary. OK to that. That's the email options. And then this is a good one to tick while I'm in here. Always check spelling before you send an email. Good one. Okay, to that. So that was just a very quick video 
on how to create signatures in Outlook. So hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.